All right, Legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about the ingredients we're gonna need to make this IPA. And in this video, we're gonna determine how much mash and sparge water we're gonna need as well as what temperature we need those volumes to be. Okay, so check out this website, brew365.com. Great mash and sparge calculator. It's also in gallons as well, not quarts. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and click on this. Now, let's change some of the defaults to our grain bill quantity. So instead of having 10, we have 12.9. And I wanna do 1.25 quarts of water for each pound of grain. And if you're brewing and you live in the snow and it's 40 degrees outside, change my 70 to 40 and your strike temperature will have to go up just a wee bit. So the main goal for this video is to have our 12 pounds of grain soak in 152 degree water for 60 to 70 minutes. Okay, so here's our results. Let's look at this. What we need is four gallons of mash water, five gallons of sparge water, and our strike temp to be 165 degrees. But I always go up on that. I always do about 170, 175 and let it cool down. So what we're gonna need to do is get four gallons of water. It all depends on your measuring cup. I have a five gallon measuring Pyrex carboy, which makes it easy for me. Some people might just have half gallon pitchers. Some people might have full gallon pitchers. It's up to you, just try to make this as accurate as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my four gallons, dump it in my eight gallon boil kettle, and I'm gonna crank it up, and I'm gonna set the timer because I wanna know how long this takes to get to 165, 170, 175. So it takes about 20 minutes for me. Now, you always wanna, I always wanna shoot high rather than shoot low. So once I get to about 180, I will take my, you gotta get your mash tun ready, and I will dump my mash water into my mash tun. And now I just let it cool down until it gets to about 165. That's what I do. So once it cools down for a little bit, I kinda chill out, I might have a beer, I might have to clean up or prep some things, but I always wanna shoot higher. So what I wanna do now is I wanna get my grain bag out, get your boil proof spoon, and we're gonna mash in. So I mash in for about 10 minutes. I do it really slowly. I stir for clumps the whole way through, and I don't cap the lid till I get to 152 degrees. So take your time with this. Just make sure once you're mashing in, it doesn't go under 152. That's why I always like to start higher and then I cap the lid. Okay, so now we have 152, that's perfect. So I'm gonna cap the lid. And now there's an hour of downtime. But after about a half an hour, I wanna start getting my sparge water ready because Halfway through your mash rest, get your boil kettle going again because we're gonna know that this five gallons to heat up, it's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes. All right guys, good luck with this. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and sparge.